G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at all the AFL jumpers in the league right now and ranking them from best to worst. Before we do that though, I do have to let you know that this video is made in collaboration with NordVPN, the world's leading VPN provider. Why do you need a VPN? Well, a VPN provides you online privacy and anonymity by creating a private network from a public internet connection. And I can tell you there are numerous benefits to having a VPN. The first of which is something called geo-blocking, and that's where something is available in some countries and not available in others. Video games are often like this in particular, but in terms of a footy context, KO Sports is a streaming platform, for instance, that is geo-blocked. So if you find yourself overseas and wanting to watch some football, even though KO Sports is only available to those who live in Australia, you can simply connect through a VPN into an Australian network and you can access KO. There are other streaming platforms that are cheaper in some countries than others. A good example of this is NBA League Pass. You can simply connect to a network from a different country, see what price they have on offer and you can get that price. We all know that Netflix has different versions available in different countries so if you're bored of the Australian Netflix you can simply connect to the US Netflix and access their catalogue. The great thing about NordVPN is there's tons of variety. You can access over 5,300 different servers across 59 countries. Don't miss out on your favorite content. If you have to leave the country, you can simply stay at home virtually through the VPN. It's confirmed by the test, NordVPN has the fastest VPN out there. The exciting news I have for you today is that you can enjoy up to 70% off this VPN by going to nordvpn.com forward slash truefooty and using the coupon code truefooty. I thoroughly recommend this VPN and if you want to check it out further, you can even access it in the link in the description of this video. Thanks guys, let's get into the tier maker. All right, here we are guys, taking a look at a tier maker for the best AFL jumpers in the league. This one looks like it was created back in 2019, uh, but for the most part, I think all of the jumpers are pretty current. I don't think uh, there's one that I'm missing, maybe one or two class jumpers that have changed. As you can see from the selections here, this one being an old tier maker has the indigenous jumpers from that year. So I'm actually gonna leave them out of this particular video because it's not really relevant anymore. Though there are some definitely some dope jumpers in there, but um, obviously they're two years outdated. So I'll ignore those for today and just look for the ones that are pretty much still in use right now. I've gone with five tiers. I've gone for elite at the top and down to great, good jumpers, okay, and the ones that I think are absolute stinkers. So without further ado, let's get into this ranking. All right, so like most tier makers, I'm probably gonna get my original rankings in there and then see if I wanna swap them around. But for now, uh, let's start at the top here, Adelaide, that class jumper. I think it's not quite in use, but we can maybe replace it for the one they're, they're kind of using. I think it's, it's a very similar jumper. Either way, it doesn't really change too much for me. I think it's an okay jumper. I don't really like class jumpers, but it's tough to compare class jumpers to normal jumpers. A lot of the class jumpers are pretty shite, but I'm just gonna compare this as though I'm comparing them to normal jumpers anyway. So for all intents and purposes, I think Adelaide's Clash is an okay jumper. The home jumper, on the other hand, I think is a good or even great jumper. I'll probably put it in good for now uh, and, then, and then see where the other teams come up. Now Hawthorne's an interesting one. Uh, I've got conflicting ideas about their jumpers. Uh, I'm gonna put the normal home jumper in okay reason being i think golden brown is a horrible color scheme i think it i think it does look all right on the field so i'm tempted to say good but overall i think it's it's a bit of an ugly jumper to be completely honest and hawks fans are probably gonna hate me for that but at the end of the day this is my opinion at the end of the day it's just a footy jumper but to completely conflict with that idea i actually low-key love this uh i don't know if you want to call it a class jumper it kind of is a class jumper but Obviously, it's not predominantly white like all the other class jumpers, but they wear it away sometimes. It's a brown V of a jumper, predominantly gold. I don't know why, I just think it looks sick. So I'm going to put that in the elite column, so maybe Hawthorne fans can kind of forgive me for the first one there. Melbourne Demons Royal Blue, not as hot in it as other people. I think the Ds have a good jumper in general, but I'm going to put that in okay. I don't I don't love it. It's a bit of a weird color mix. Their home jumper, though, I have to say it's great. You can't really go wrong with, like, navy, blue, and red. Um, two of my favorite colors, really. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think they have a pretty great jumper there. North Melbourne's jumper is good. I'm going to ignore this one little here, this because uh, I don't know if they still use it, so I might come back to that. But uh, that jumper there, I, I do quite like the, um, the the blue with white stripes look compared to the white with blue stripes. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool, but probably keep it in good for now. Oh, we found our first stinker. This grey abomination from Port Adelaide is an absolute piece of shit. <laughs> I know that's really harsh, but where did the grey come from? Why, why do you wear grey Port Adelaide? The white one is, is way better, um, and even that I don't really love. So I'm gonna say Port's grey jumper is a stinker, but their home jumper is pretty dope. The only thing I don't really love about it is they've gone for the the white box on the back where the number goes, because that's, you know, symbolic of Port Adelaide. And 
I respect that, but um, I actually think it looked better before they did that. But either way, great jumper, really big fan of it. Richmond's Clash, not a fan of it. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the okay column. It's a bit ugly. Yellow and black, can't really go wrong with those colors, and that's why I'll put their jumper in great. That could even be elite. It is a very good jumper. I'm trying not to be blinded by the fact that I, I'm sick of seeing Richmond win. I might even put it in elite for now. It is a very good jumper. St. Kilda's next. Let's start with their home jumper. I think it is, I'd say it's a great jumper. Yeah, white, red, and black, great colors uh, for a football team in my opinion. Um, yeah, just, it looks good. It's aesthetically pleasing. Their Clash jumper, look, I don't normally like Clash jumpers, but um, I like that one because there's still a lot of Saints identity with it. Um, it looks like a St. Kilda jumper, not like a shitty white Clash jumper. So I'm, I'm a pretty big fan of that. Sydney Swans, they've got two on here. I'm not too really sure why. Maybe they've got one as they're away and one in their home, but it's the same jumper. Either way, I'm gonna stick that in Elite. I absolutely love the way the, the red and white go together and uh, the Opera House there on their jumper. And yeah, predominantly red color, really prominent. I, I really like the Sydney, the Sydney sort of marketing to be honest. The Eagles clash, or oh, it's not a, yeah, it is a clash jumper actually, the yellow one, it's okay. I can see why people think it's a stinker. Other other fans really like it. Some people wish we wore yellow home games as well. Uh, it is our original sort of color scheme, but for me, it's okay. I'd rather we don't wear it too much. And yeah, thankfully that's the case. And I'm really biased. I'm gonna say the Eagles home jam jumper is elite and people disagree with me. And at the end of the day, it's just my opinion. I don't think I'm too biased in terms of you know, I openly say we have the worst team song in the league, um, but I generally think the, the branding, the blue and gold, it looks sick. It's one of my favorite things about the club, so that's my personal opinion. I think the Eagles have an elite home jumper. Bulldogs jumper is pretty good. Um, I think I might like it similarly to the Eagles just because it's like royal blue, so I associate it positively, um, but I think, it, I think it looks really good. Um, I quite like their old style um, Footscray jumper that they wear occasionally with the collar as well, which they don't wear quite as often anymore, or very rarely. I, I think that's dope, so I'd probably have that in Elite as well. White one, it's okay. Can't really criticize them for having just the inverse of their colors. It's gotta be predominantly white, um, but it's not something I'd really wanna buy. Fitzroy, uh, it's pretty average to be honest. I do kind of like that Brisbane wear the Fitzroy colors in Victoria, but I don't think it looks good. I don't think it's aesthetically pleasing, so it goes in okay. Before we keep moving down in order, let's have a look at some more stinkers, because I think this red sash from Essendon looks grim. I do get why they wear it, so they don't wear the black sash because they, their identity is the, the yellow, sorry, the red sash, so they want to have an all red jumper. But look, it's, it's a class jumper. I don't like class jumpers generally, so it doesn't stand out as being poor, but ugh, I don't think it looks good at all. Similarly on the theme, class jumper, GWS, just a big orange G. I can't believe GWS ran out on their grand final, their only grand final appearance in that white monstrosity. They didn't have to. You don't need to wear a clash against Richmond. Um, maybe they were forced to do it, in which case, you know, that's a let off, but whoever made the decision that GWS need a clash against Richmond is stupid when you look at the 2017 prelim. Clearly no clash there. Gold Coast jump is okay, or is it good? I might even put it in good. I do kind of like it. It's nothing special though. It's pretty basic design. The blue one I'd probably put is okay. A lot of people hate the blue one. Again, maybe I'm just a little bit romanced by the idea that it's a it's a blue jumper in this sort of eagle style but um looks all right i'd probably do something different with the with the emblem though gws look let's rate this on what the jumper is this year i'm gonna put it in stinker and i know that's harsh because i think the front of it looks good but the back of it looks weird now i think it's predominantly orange so i think it's it just looks wrong i, d I don't like it at all i think it's trash brisbane's jumper is good without being great i like that it's quite unique but beyond that you know not Nothing special. Carlton's I'm gonna put in okay. I like the color scheme of navy blue and white. I don't particularly like that old fashioned emblem they put back on their jumper. Uh, when I started growing up and watching Carlton, they had that older sort of, well basically the logo that they currently have as their emblem. Uh, now they've changed it for the older one. I don't know, don't know about it. Cat's jumper is good. I would say. Uh, again, a little bit boring. I personally think they look really good in white shorts. So when they wear that jump with white shorts, that's uh, that's a cool design, but the blue shorts, I don't like as much personally. Just realize I haven't even touched Freeman or yet. I'm gonna say their purple jumper is okay, or even good. Hey, let's give it credit. That's, uh, although if I'm putting Freeman in good, I probably need to put Carlton in good. I think it's probably probably pretty similar. No, I'll probably probably leave it like that for now. I think they've done as well as you can with the, with the jumper with the color of purple. It's hard to make that look cool, but since the rebrand in like 2010 or whatever it was, Fremantle look a lot better these days. And I'll even say that their Clash jumper, well, their away jumper, I think it is, not, not really a Clash, is great. Really like it. I think it looks better than the purple. Um, one of the few teams that I think would look better on white, in white on grand final day. 
uh, as they, as we saw in 2013. I think it looks cool. Who else have I missed here? Collingwood. Collingwood's jumper is good. And I'm, I'm going to say they're predominantly white. Well, the white back with black stripes that look, and white shorts. I think that's where Col uh, Collingwood look really cool. Splitting hairs um, to some extent with saying that, you know, one's great and one's good. But yeah, I'm a fan of the white one. I think we're pretty close to done here. Uh, Essendon, I would say, have pretty close to an elite jumper there. Again, similar to Richmond, the black and the red. They're great colors for a footy club, very, very masculine colors. Um, and yeah, I just think they look great together. So yeah, I like the curved sash. I think they went with a more of a straight sash for a while there, but the curved sash, the more traditional style, uh, I think that looks really good. I just realized we missed Carlton's clash here. Again, it's okay, not trash. Tell you what would be an absolute stinker would be their baby blue one that they wore in the mid 20 teens that was close to the worst jumper i've seen in my lifetime um absolutely disastrous choice i know they still wanted to be the blues uh but it looked disgusting well i think that's coming close to the end of the jumpers that are actually in use at the moment i will just shout out the bulldogs marvel themed jumper that was a disgrace even though there's not in use anymore Chuck it in stinker. It was a it was an abomination. Do Collingwood use this clash anymore? I think they do, don't they? I'd say it's okay. And while we're chucking in some extra jumpers, North Melbourne's jumper there, I think it's really cool. Uh, it's a cool retro style. I think it's their 90s jumper, the Wayne Carey era. I wouldn't mind seeing them wear that more often, to be honest. I think they still wear it uh, every now and then. So yeah, I rate it. So there you have it, guys. That is my ranking of AFL jumpers with the elite jumpers being Hawthorne's Clash, Richmond's home jumper, Sydney's West Coast, my boys, my bias boys, Bulldogs and Essendon uh, before the greats include Melbourne, Port, St Kilda, Fremantle, Collingwood North. Then there's a glut of most of the others in the competition, including a lot of clashes in the OK section. Uh, the true stinkers of the comp are Port Adelaide's grey one, Essendon's red sash and red back, GWS's whole deal in general, and then the Bulldogs Marvel, which I just chucked in there for fun. Anyway, guys, that concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of my opinion and uh, what you would have done differently. Do go check out the sponsors of today's video, NordVPN. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.